Good morning everyone and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be going through tips on how to become a morning person. Know your why. All of us go to bed and we normally have a really bad sleep or we wake up feeling anxious and then we end up sleeping in and then we end up not doing anything. Knowing your why and reciting your why is a huge factor into how to actually wake up early. For me personally, I used to write down notes before I went to bed or I used to do my planning before I went to sleep instead of in the day or in the, in the morning. Sometimes if I really needed to get up early in the morning and do something, I would write down my plan for the next morning on that night. Knowing your why, you can either recite that in your head, in your mind, you can think about it as you're going to sleep, you can write it down, you can plan it for the next day, you can jot it down as notes, as a to-do list, absolutely anything you want as a vision board, absolutely anything you want. One thing that you could do that I did at the start is post-it notes. I just put them all over my room or you can get quotes or kind of links in with vision boards and stuff. So your why could be, why you're getting up early today because you want to work on yourself because you want to work on your fitness you want to get healthy and fitter you want to be able to feel more confident so you want to do your makeup this morning you want to feel refreshed so you're going to have a cold shower you want to feel relaxed so you're going to wake up to have time to have a bath you want to learn so you're going to do some reading you want to spend time in the morning with your family you want to i don't know go on a walk and get some fresh air get some vitamin d you work on a course that you're doing like on skillshare or something absolutely anything or anybody can have a reason why to get up early. Mine personally was because I just, it was a bit more broad, but I really wanted to start working on myself. I felt like I had so much more potential than sleeping in because the rest of my day was filled with work and a job that's I'm so grateful for, but not something that I was destined to do. So I thought, why would I want to sleep in all morning and then go to something that doesn't show what I can do as a human being, my potential, and then come home and be so tired that I just go to sleep and just repeat the cycle. I don't want to be part of that anymore. I decided to make a change and I decided to get up early, move my body, learn things, spend some time with myself, a bit of self-care, slowly and gradually getting myself ready for the day so I'm not feeling anxious, stressed, rushed, or any of that. It's definitely, definitely a benefit for not feeling anxious in the morning because you do have time to just slowly get through little jobs, the to-do list, or just simply just some self-care. But yeah, so point number one is know your why. You wanna start a new system for your future plans. You wanna start a new system for your present plans. You want to learn to let go of your past. It honestly could be absolutely anything. Take a bit of time by yourself to figure out your why. And I promise you that will have huge, huge, huge benefits on your motivation and why you want to go up early. Okay, so tip number two would be to buy yourself an alarm clock. I absolutely swear by this one. I honestly think it is the most beneficial thing for if you're wanting to get up early. Don't use your phone. And if you use your phone, I say don't use your phone and then if you use your phone, but if you do use your phone, keep it on the other side of the room. Everybody always says this, but it genuinely does help. Keep it in another room if you can, or on the opposite side of the room. Somewhere where you have to get up out of bed to walk and go and turn it off. I use an alarm clock purely so the fact that I don't have my phone by me at night anyway. And then I have to walk over and turn the alarm clock off. Take it slow and just like crawl out because Mel Robbins actually said on one of her videos once that like if you just slowly like crawl and move your body your body at one point will want to stand up so yeah there's like a random little tip there but an alarm clock is incredible i know that obviously they can be quite a horrid sound so people would prefer sometimes to use their phone or sometimes people don't need to use any alarm at all um, and they can just use natural light use an alarm clock if you can if you don't like the, the sound of an alarm clock or the noise of an alarm clock Use your phone on whatever alarm sound that you'd like, but put it across the other side of the room so you have to get your body moving and out of bed. Tip number three is drink more water. As soon as you wake up, you need to drink, I think it is 16 ounces of water. Pretty much as soon as you wake up, your body's dehydrated because you've been sleeping all night. It gives you energy, it rehydrates your body, making you feel more awake and so many other benefits to water but definitely definitely drink some water when you get out of bed tip number four is move your body 
get that body moving in the morning, whether that's yoga or going on a walk or doing some Pilates or going to the gym, doing a home workout, going on a run, absolutely anything. You can even do yoga in bed. I do yoga in bed sometimes if I am feeling very, very sluggish or my eyes are very tired. I wake up, I have water like this out of my bed, I drink my water and then I put on just a yoga in bed YouTube tutorial and you feel great afterwards and it's really really comforting and cozy if you do want to do that sometimes especially in the winter it is quite nice to do number five is the five second rule by mel robbins i don't know if any of you know mel robbins but she is an absolute icon i've watched all of her ted talks i follow her youtube channel and all of her different channels and i listen to her all the time she is she's incredible definitely give mel robbins a listen tip number six is everybody knows wim hof it's the cold water, the ice man, using cold water to wake up your body and all the benefits of it on your immune system is absolutely crazy. I used to do this all the time. It's definitely something I'm gonna get back into again, but I used to have cold showers every single morning. I did it through winter as well, um, as well as summer, but that's definitely something that benefited me. Ice baths or it's basically freezing cold, as cold as you can possibly get the water. Um, you can do this in different methods, so you can either just get straight into, so if you're having a cold shower, you can either just get straight into the shower, have it already cold, and just make the move and just get in. It is very, very difficult. I found that one very hard, but it also teaches you to use your breath, which is a huge, huge part of our lives. Um, it's what starts and ends our life. So it teaches you how to use your breath. But yeah, whether you just have the shower on cold as soon as you get in, or you get into the shower, no water's running, and then you just turn it on cold, or whether you put it warm to cold, or whether you put it hot to cold, and you slowly and gradually get into it. You don't have to do this for long. It could literally be 10 to 15 seconds, and then you'll gradually get better at it anyway. It feels strange at the start, but I promise you, you'll feel the benefits. Tip number seven is to make it cozy. So especially in the winter at the moment, so in the winter it can be very gloomy cold, dark, especially when you're waking up early in the morning. So try and make it as cozy as possible, whether this is putting some candles on or putting a huge onesie on or putting your dressing gown on. You can even have a bath if you'd like to. All these tips are, you don't have to do absolutely every single one of them. They are just insights to how you can make it easier for yourself to wake up early and feel the benefits of waking up earlier. Your body benefits from it, your mind benefits from it, your soul benefits from all these things physical, mental, well-being, everything benefits from all of these things. So whether you do one of them or so, for example, whether you want to have the cold shower or whether you want to make it cozy, absolutely do what feels right for you and what feels comfortable for you at the start. Definitely to gradually get yourself into it, because I promise you it will have a huge impact on your life. So tip number seven is make it cozy enjoy the morning a little bit more whether you put some calm cozy morning music on like cafe music or jazz music whether you make yourself a warm tea whether you have a nice warm shower get in your comfies put the candles on some cute little twinkly lights on absolutely anything you can to make it a little bit more cozy in the winter will definitely make you feel better number eight is to turn on the lights uh, turning on the lights stimulates your brain and it stimulates your mind into thinking that you should be awake if you've ever noticed when we go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, the one thing you avoid doing is turning on the lights subconsciously. I feel like we've never even been told this before in our lives to not turn on the lights when you go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, but I'm sure none of us really do it because we want to stay in the sleep mode. We go to the toilet, we don't really want to do it, and we want to stay in that sleep zone. So we avoid turning on the lights. So to feel more awake, the obvious answer is to turn on the lights. Tip number nine is to make it enjoyable. So whether that is putting on a podcast or your favorite music or your favorite YouTube video, genuinely just doing something that you enjoy, whether you enjoy fitness and going on a bike ride or going to the gym, whether that's doing artwork, creating, learning, absolutely anything that inspires you, you enjoy, whether that literally can just be putting on some Spotify music and just dancing around in your room if you want to wake yourself up make it enjoyable because the whole process of this is to spend more time with yourself give yourself more time to learn about you and slowly and gradually get into the day and just be with yourself is one of the huge benefits of waking up early you start to learn to get to know yourself more 
understand yourself more be aware of everything a lot more learn a lot more as well just make it fun make it enjoyable in whatever way that means for you make it something that you're excited to get up for okay so the last point and what i think is one of the most important points of all of them is the night before all of us would sometimes love to get up early be productive however we always fall into the trap of going to sleep late watching a movie too late eating bad junk food right before we go to sleep drinking is definitely a huge thing for everybody just not getting enough sleep at all always prioritize your sleep and i usually try and get around seven hours and i know that my body feels prepared for the next day the night before is a huge huge and important thing to take into consideration so that links into changing your night routine because changing your morning routine is incredible but to change your morning routine you have to change your night routine whether that's you read a book before you go to bed or you get to sleep a little bit earlier just trying to make these little changes bit by bit you could be going to sleep at one o'clock every single night and then make the change to go to sleep at half past 12. so that wraps up the end of the video i hope everyone enjoyed watching and got some information and some benefits from watching this i have been getting up early for a couple years now i mean i started when i was around 16 because i used to get up really early for my job and then fell off the bandwagon a bit for a bit purely because i was becoming like a teenager going out and drinking and doing all that kind of stuff and then i decided i wanted to switch my life around and really start working on myself now which is definitely something that i'm so grateful for with the fact that I was aware of that and I've changed that for myself and you can too. Waking up early in the morning honestly does have so many benefits to it and I hope that some of these tips help you or give you some motivation or inspiration on how you can get up earlier, whether you do one of these tips once a week or whether you try one of these tips once every single day. Do things little by little like the book Atomic Habits, change everything by 1%, make improvements by 1% each day and you will see huge benefits in your life. I really do think it's so important for us to all to take care of ourselves, spend some time with ourselves, get to know ourselves a little bit better and just treat ourselves with more kindness and be more aware of everything with how we're feeling inside and out. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.